I didn't change my title. Maybe I should read the patch notes. Let's look at the patch notes real quick. <clears throat> it is 3.14 for you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, it's like six fifteen for me. So. Okay, so these are part of the new era quests. Yeah, it's like six AM for me. Let's look in the patch notes real quick. You're dead but can't sleep. Nice. That sounds fun. It's time before you are done. Oh. Okay. Other than the new content, there is not much to note of note in the patch notes themselves. Alright, uh, I guess this is it. Let's quest over here. One of the Crystarium Guards is particularly relieved to have found you.
Ah, Alela, have you seen Reen? She's been looking for you. Wait here, I'll go and get her. There you are. Jesus, I need your help. Now hold on, I haven't even told you what it is yet. Ahem, after you defeated Emmett Selk, I sense a strange concentration of light somewhere far to the south. In the empty, the lands that were once swallowed by the flood. Can't tell what it is, but we have to find out. For all we know, it might even be another light warden. But whatever it may be, I don't intend to stand by and watch. I'll. Sorry, I'm gonna handle it myself. Incred, Irianje, and I have a few theories that we plan to test once we find whatever is causing this. Three of us were reluctant to ask for your help considering everything you've been through. The thing is, you're the only person who can defeat a Light Warden without becoming one yourself, so we have no choice. While we don't want to jump to conclusions, it would be a good idea to have you there just in case. So, will you come with us? Thank you, Alela. This means a lot. First of all, let's head to the uh, Derek in Am Arang. Uh, Thinkred and Urianje should have everything ready by now. Of the desert creatures didn't give you too much trouble on the way here. I doubt they pose any sort of challenge to her. Would that I could say the same with confidence about whatever fiends may be waiting for us out there. Even if this, even if the light that Reen sends turns out to be nothing of consequence, the empty is hardly the most welcoming of places. Uh, anything that could survive out there is not to be trifled with. However, it should be reiterated that the light blasted wasteland poseth as a, as severe a threat as any foe we might face. In any event, we are in agreement that this phenomenon doth warrant investigation, though for lack of more precise means of navigation we must needs rely on Reen innate abilities to guide us. I have formed several hypotheses regarding the nature of the light, but speculation is a poor substitute for first-hand observation. There'll be plenty of time for us to talk about it on the way. Is the Sky Slipper ready, Thinkrid? Ready to take us wherever we need to go? Aye, Black again too, maybe, if we ask it nicely. Though the light hath uh, expunged from Norvrent, the ambient ether of the empty is still corrupted dangerously so, in fact. The flood of light devastated everything in this way, the soil, the air, the water, all rendered incapable of supporting life. Tis due to this imbalance that the empty remaineth utterly in uninhabitable even the century thereafter. That's why we <clears throat> were taking every possible precaution between the ether monitors I've packed and Reen's unique abilities. We should be able to detect any and to measure any fluctuations in our alignments. <clears throat> in a 
According to the Crystarium scouts, a few days out there won't affect us to any noticeable degree, but much longer than that, we're just becoming sin eaters. Since we st still don't know how Chocobos and Amaro will fare in the empty, we've opted for a more mechanical mode of transportation. transportation. This comes courtesy of the researchers at the Mean, who found it in the Crystal Tower and restored it to working order. <coughs> oh my god. Um, it's quite safe, I promise. The person in charge said he'll have parts delivered from the Crystarium should anything break. He seemed quite eager to see what uh, we bring back from the empty, even though I told him we're not hunting for treasure. I'll introduce you if we have a chance to stop by Mord Sulk at some point. Anyway, I think that covers everything. Uh, when you're ready to leave, just say the word. Well then, shall we? I'm <clears throat> gonna be a shit ton of people here. With a name like The Empty, I wasn't expecting much in a way of a pleasant scenery, but this is downright depressing. To look on the land swallowed by the flood with my own eyes, tis a chilling sight indeed. Approximately nine tenths of this world are as this, a slate all but wiped clean. Were it not for the warriors of darkness in Menphilia. Reen, are you sure we're heading in the right direction? <sighs> yes, I'm certain. There's no telling how far away it is, though. Nothing for it but to keep going, then. You two back there might as well take a nap. I have a feeling we have a good few moms ahead of us. I have to say, it's a touch larger than I was expecting, and is it sleeping? The Empty. No, it's waking up. I don't like the sound of that. Is it a light warden? No, I don't think so. Instead of being filled with light, it is light. The first sin eater. Long have I strived to unravel the mysteries of surrounding the flood of light, discover what set the terrible cataclysm in motion. Every thread led to the same conclusion, the same single point, or single being. The reason I, ha I believe that the entity we see before us is the first senator, the instigator of the flood, the very foe Menphilia vanquished a century, a century ago. She gave everything she had and won. This abomination could undo her work. Aye, the possibility cannot be denied, though it is often said that destruction and creation are but two sides of the same coin. Reen, knowest thou of what I speak? The power to shape reality, to bend the laws of nature, for what was once shattered may be forged anew. That's all well and good, but don't you think we should give it a name first? Eden. 
Utopia in Ve, a most auspicious title. Now that that's settled, perhaps we should find a spot to set up camp. I even brought a couple of tents on the off chance, but pitching the Dan things is something of a fine art. Does anyone fancy helping me? Eden's like an actual... It's not a zone. Oh my god, this music. What is it from? I know this. This is from an older Final Fantasy game. Is this FF like 8? 9? Kingdom Hearts? No. Seven? No. Is it? I don't. What is this song from? It's gonna drive me crazy. No, it's from F of Seven, isn't it? I think this song is from F of Seven. Wait, no. Or is it a? I don't know. It's from one of the PS One games, I think. God, this is gonna drive me insane. I mean, it's not, like, actually from the original game, but it's, like, based off of it. It's, like, a new version of the song. Just like you get in this game all the time, but... I know I know this song, I just don't know- I don't remember what game it was from. I think it's FF8. Maybe. I don't know. We realized that putting tents up could be such a bother. Still, I'm glad that we got there in the end. Denkridge should be back from scouting the area soon. Once he's here, we can plan our next move. In the course of your investigation, we discover value artifacts. Change, uh... By speaking with Google and Ward Silk or Yal Yal and Yomar. <laughs> so, is this a private instance or? Anciently, for Thinkrid to return from surveying the vicinity. I wonder what Thinkrid, why it's taking Thinkrid so long. I, mean, I, I wish this, these were voice acted, though. To be honest. Ah, there he is. Well, that was rather uneventful. Not that I'm complaining. Did you find anything? No, thankfully. There's not but barren plains in every direction, apart from Eden, obviously. I tried approaching it, and the brute didn't even seem to notice me. I thought I'd best not to tempt fate, so I withdrew. We should act now, before it's fully awake. Meaning what exactly? When I think about the flood of light, I get the feeling that rather than destroying everything in its path, what it actually did was stop the flow of ether. Of course, that meant that all the plants, animals, and people here could no longer survive. They must have crumbled in dust in, in the years since. But the ether is still here, lying dormant. Even if Eden is the one that caused it, maybe it can get it flowing again. 
I don't know for certain, but I think we I can use Eden to bring back life to the empty. Now, hold on a minute. What makes you think that's even possible? And how do you expect to get control of that kind of power? Eden's aspirations may not be as preposterous as thou dost surmise. I believe Minfilia halted the flood of light's advance not by destroying Eden, but by silencing it. In so doing, she hath gifted us an opportunity too precious to waste. Even now, the flame of hope burns on. As Min, uh, I, as Minfilia's successor, it standeth to no to reason that Reen doth possess the means to extract her will over Eden. But such a momental task is not to be taken lightly. What sayest thou, Lala? Yes, you're probably right, but I have to try. Well, very well, Rin. You've made up your mind. So how do we go about this? I have an idea. I've been studying it carefully ever since we arrived, and it seems to me that the light is more concentrated at a certain point. I suppose you could call it the core. The giant Talos has a, had a core too, like a beating heart. It controlled the flow of ether. If Eden's core is the same, perhaps we could use it to restore the etheric balance? The theory is certainly sound. By employing Ethernet shards as beacons, mayhap we could trace the ethereal flow to the Eden's core, and in so doing, secure a means to teleport to the very heart of the beast. Thankfully, the Settlement Council has kindly furnished us with a plethora of apparatus by which to perform such feats. However, we must needs first have Reen study the entity's interior and chart us a suitable course. Once we have reached our destination, I shall fabricate a means by which you may directly communicate with Eden, and may have exert a measure of control over it. We can really do that, Uriyanje. All credit is due to a dear friend, a gentle soul long since departed, who imparted me with a wealth of knowledge concerning etherology. Although I am certain she would be all too quick to chastise my methodology. Excuse me for interrupting this trip down memory lane, but I don't imagine that Eden will be too happy about us rummaging around in its innards, for want of a better term. In all seriousness, though, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some sort of welcoming party arranged for intruders. Perhaps you had best lead the way, Alela? It's true that she's the only one who can defeat a Light Warden, but I'd rather not rely on her any more than we have to. Yes, I haven't forgotten what happened when she absorbed too much light, because, but as Alizé said, making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. Now, I wish I could have put uh, wardens down, put down wardens myself, but the simple fact is I can't, and there's no pretending I can. That's why I'm asking Alila. And perhaps I could. You have already, you already have a job to do. Remember. The only reason this plan even has a chance of success is because you are of your involvement. We need you to concentrate on the task at hand and guide us to the core. Not only that, you'll have to keep an eye on Eden itself. If we somehow manage to make it angry, get us out of there. Are you sure you want to go through with this? That is, this is what I do best. I won't let you down. Though we will remain here, Rina and I shall do our utmost to guide thee along the ethereal stream. After thou hast, hast breached the exterior, we shall remain in contact via these ink link pearls, courtesy of our comrades at the Christ, in the Crystarium. Uh, being relatively savage from the Crystal Tower, I fear they may some, be somewhat less reliable than those to which thou art accustomed.
Ian's Gate Resurrection now of it now accessible. Okay. Okay, so we got the first one now. Oh, I should have looked, uh, what item level is this then? 425? Okay. Wow, that's lower than I thought it would be. Oh my god, this guy. Why, why? Oh my god, this memer. Oh my god. <laughs> What a meme, dude! Dude, what is this song? I I need to know. What the hell is this song? I've heard it before. I know. I'm literally the only one in my FC on right now. Oh my god, okay. Uh, eleven. Oh, cute pops. Nice. It was quick. I know, I know, it's so familiar. I think it's FF8 or 9. That song. Be careful. Huge amounts of Aether are rushing to the core. Wait, what's that? Eden Prime. Uh, I guess I'll empty.
Holy shit, that was a big hit. I'll put it back. Let me. Oh shit! What's it doing? Ah, uh, Monka S. What the fuck? Uh, I know. Uh, what's happening? Oh my god. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh no. Yikes. Uh, on, on, nani? Nani? What's happening? Oh my god. Dude, it's Supernova. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh.
shit. Wait, I didn't get hit by any of that somehow? Like, okay. I guess I'm just a god gamer. First try. First try, idiot. Wait, huh? You can only really receive one piece of gear per, per thing? Really? Wait, so d is this the shit we trade in? Over it? Wait. So... Okay, I'm getting rid of those. I actually don't need these either. Fuck, I'm not gonna ever touch shit again. So I got the bangle early antiquity, an extravagant bangle forged by some ancient civilization recovered from Eden's Gate. Okay. 
I must know where the song is from. It's from one of the PS1 FF games, I think. seems that Thinkrid's prediction about there being some sort of guardian was right. Thankfully, it was nothing that you couldn't handle. And I'm glad to, uh, to say that you haven't absorbed any light either. So far, so good. Now that the way is clear, the ethernet shards can uh, send us to the core and back whenever we need. Why don't we give them a try? <laughs> okay, this one is instance with a bunch of other players, a lot of people here. Once Urianji has activated the device, it's my turn. The time hath come, Reen. Watch over me, Minfilia. Is this supposed to happen? Eden is offering considerable resistance. Not now, not when I'm so close. Ariane I am unharmed, but what of Reen? No, you listen to me! Rian, be careful! That's what Eden truly looks like, huh? Reen appears to have recovered from her battle of wills with Eden. 
It worked. I'm in control now, I think. Although I'm now linked to Eden, I still need to figure out how to give it commands. Pray tell what caused it to convulse so violently. It must have been when Eden rose into the air. I'm still struggling to stop it from drifting too far from the camp. Even now, thou art... Reen, what's going on? Ah, uh, above us, something's coming this way. An enemy. But how dost thou... Ah, could it be a Sin Eater? I can't see him that I can't see them clearly, but no, that's impossible. What is it? They're inside too, lots of them, trying to reach the core. Uninvited guests, eh? If I had known they were coming, I would have tidied the place up. Uh Japes are a poor substitute for a viable stratagem. In that case, it suggests that you and I deal with the ones who are already inside. And Delilah can welcome our airborne adversary. Green, find out if Eden has any defenses we can make use of, preferably ones that don't recognize us as the enemy. I'm not sure about that, but I can use the ether currents to send you wherever you need to go. That's my girl. Alright, everyone, we've got work to do. From what I can tell, Eden is able to form simple structures by redirecting ether. So I'll try to give you something to stand on. When you're ready, head for the portal over there. Eden's Gate, Descent, now accessible. Okay. Oh wow, insta Q. Hog. The last one took a, a minute or two, but... I just needed to admit that, I don't know. I didn't realize that it was gonna do that <laughs> big of a hit. That was obviously a. I mean, I was already hurt, but. It was a big, uh, a big oof. Ah. 
happening. Fuck. I don't get it. Do we have to stay stacked, or is it like we've already consumed the stack damage, but then, it, but it like doesn't happen till later? Like I don't know. It's like do we do we have to stay there? Because they they died. But I don't know if it's just because maybe they're here already. Those pink things are meteors, right? You gotta stand on those. But it seems like it causes bleeding damage in Verona, though. But you still gotta do it. Frozen, and it got hit by that. I stood in it. I thought was that was I not paying attention? It was like it actually had to stay on the outside out. I got petrified. Oh no, I'm going back to the top Yep.
Oh. Wait, when I die from? Like why did I get hit by something? Like what? What gave me that? Like what did I do? You got, like you get von stacks when you do something wrong in a fight like this, right? What did I do wrong? Like I, that's what I don't understand. I didn't get touched by those guys. I'm assuming those are like the enemies in some of the other. Some there's a dungeon that had an enemy like that where it's like, you know, they're just think uh, uh, entities that just walk. Just gotta avoid them. I'm assuming that that's what those little like demons are. These pink things are meteors. They're stack markers. Like I don't think I was handling any of these things wrong, but I was just <laughs> taking a shit ton of damage from everything. Um, I'll let him open or her open. Said this time. I don't know. Uh, I mean, obviously, w w both of us, both of us tanks were dying, so it's like, yeah, if one of us dies, we switch out at anyways, but, uh, I don't know. I think it's just a matter of we were all just dying to mechanics. Just gotta figure it out. Um, there, I don't know, I feel like there, has to be something I'm missing. Like for this, it's like it, it looks obvious. Like stand in the middle, avoid the circle AOE. You know, for this one, avoid those guys. So he's like I, I did the same. Okay, so. But attack he did it. It attacks both tanks, it looks like. I wasn't getting these before. Spell and waiting. Dark Wire 3.
Okay. I was testing something. I was wondering whether or not we have to like stay stacked. I don't. I don't think we do because it looks like they took more damage that way. I I don't honestly I don't know. I'm not sure. I feel like that wasn't conclusive. What I was wondering was whether or not like so like the stack markers right like these normally you know you all stack on and then when the cast finishes um, damage happens and it spreads between everyone standing on it but um, with these ones when the cast finishes there's a clock now but it's a, the cast is already finished so usually how this game works is that once the cast is finished the damage is already like calculated right like, it's already like you know if everyone was standing on it then it's already spreads but this mechanic seems different so like what I don't know is like once the clock starts counting down, is it okay to move away and like the damage is still spread or like how exactly does that work? I don't know. I'm assuming these are just meteors. Oh okay, so you have to stay on these. But physically, okay. I don't think I was doing that before, actually. Oh, is there a stack? I think what I'm, what's happening is I'm getting flipped by the edge of this. Like I was just not quite far out enough. Or far in enough, I mean.
Oh, you can. <laughs> you can blow up. Okay. Alila, thank goodness you're unharmed. We came as soon as we took care of our unwanted guests. Uh, they were a stubborn bunch and quite unlike, any, unlike anything I've ever seen in the first. No, I won't let you. Damn the lights. Damn you all. Who are you? What do you want? I... Why am I here? What is happening? She's alive. Oh, wait, she. Okay, sure. Uh, but there is something strange about her ether. Uh, she didn't seem too pleased with the Reen taking control of Eden, which may be what caused her to appear out of the blue. Beyond that, it's anyone's guess. Tis plain she's not a uh, sin eater, not even in part uh, as Valtry was. Yet this nodge does little to assuage my fear, she, for she is nonetheless possessed of a power most terrible. On the other hand, if she's feeling cooperative, she might be able to tell us more about Eden. I'll be, I'll keep an eye on her until she wakes up. There's no telling what will happen when she does, but I'll make it clear that we mean her no harm. Well, no further harm at the very least. Obviously, it's not a good idea to bring her inside Eden. It's likely that reaching the core was her aim from the outset. So I'll take her to the camp. Now that uh, things have settled down, I should go back inside and try strengthening my link to Eden. Although I had my hands full trying to control Eden, I caught a glimpse of your battle, that power. I've never seen anything like it. What thou witnessed was the tearing of the very fabric of reality, the creation of a rift through which Void sent me answer. But pray tell, Reen, didst thou make any other observations? Hmm. I couldn't sense any light at all in the, that girl on her servants, or her servants. I can't really explain how, but she reminded me of Emmett Selk. Uh, though I think it unlikely that she is an Asian, she may yet be thrall to Zodiark. Uh, maybe we'll prove to find out more when she's woken up. In the meantime, I'll try to improve my control over Eden. It seems to be listening more than before, instead of screaming at me like it was at the beginning. And that's not all. I've made an exciting discovery. Reen's newly formed bond with Eden's core has led to a surprising discovery. I 
I feel a lot more confident in my ability to control Eden now. Of course, this is the only the beginning. And we shall accompany thee wheresoever this path may lead. But pray tell, what manner of discovery hast thou made? I understand how Eden's power works. And therefore the true nature of the Flood of Light? Yes, it affected the balance of all the ether in the empty, shifting it so far towards the umbral that it stopped flowing altogether. The power to tip the scales. And to tip them back again. That's what Eden does. It controls the balance of ether over a wide area, forcing it from one alignment to the other. Left it alone, it still poses a threat, but I can harness its power. I think I could use it to breathe life back into the empty. The trouble is, I haven't the foggiest idea of where to start. <sighs> and if I go about this the wrong way, I'll do more harm than good. Thou needst not bear this burden alone, Rain, nor, sh nor should thou. Tis no simple matter of awakening that which lies dormant. All things in nature are inextricably linked. The elements maintain a fragile harmony, without which life cannot prosper. So what should we do? A solution hath begun to take it, take shape in my mind, uh, though it will require further discussion. For the time being, let us return to camp. It would be remiss of us not to involve Thinkrid. My friends, I believe I have struck upon a method by which we may see this world restored. Arianje, before you go any further, allow me to make a potentially very long story slightly shorter. The plan to control is to control Eden and realign, realign the ether of the empty, right? In essence, yes, however, unleashing elemental energies haphazardly will not suffice. In addition, the empty is unfathom unfathomably vast. Uh, were we only able to affect change over one small region at a time, it would take many lifetimes to complete even a fraction of our task. Instead, our energies would be better spent revitalizing each element in order, and we might set in motion a more widespread transformation. One at a time. I hate to say this, but I don't think Eden will be able to draw out a single element without affecting the others. For that very reason, we shall select a location in which the ambient ether we wish to restore is at its most potent. Even in a dormant state, certain elements will be more prevalent and therefore more easily manipulated. Then we rebalance the ether and return it to the land, wherein it shall be it shall be borne on ethereal currents to the farthest reaches of the empty. But what's to prevent the element from breaking free of Eden's hold and causing a disaster of some sort? It needs to be contained. The question is how? Lila, indulge me for a moment if thou wouldst. I imagine a uh, co cor corporeal manifestation of each of the individual elements. What? Dost thou see in thy mind's eye? Wait, moogles? What? Wait. That's not what I thought of, but... I have...
Oh, it was a joke. I see, because yeah, I did think of primals, but it was like the options were like surely not Moogles. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. My hap thou art uh, a fear to utter the fateful word, for even to even speak of the name Primal is to invite misfortune. Though invite it we must, as the ether is drawn forth and realigned by Eden, we shall perform as summoning as Master Louis Wa once did in the fields of Cartineau. As one who hath laid low countless primals, thy memories will shape the ether into a deform entity which must be subsequently be disturbs, dispersed in the traditional fashion. So defeat it in other words, but is that even possible? I break my fast on primals. <laughs> Lest thou forget, twill be no uh, no more than an approximation of a foe thus thou hast previously bested. I have every confidence in thine abilities, Alola. As do I, though it might help to have some sort of idea, uh, some idea of what you will be up against. Have you decided which element to tackle first? I propose water, the source of all life. Leviathan. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the location, an area to the west of Novarent was once home to the world's deepest ocean. Alas, the flood of light reduced it to a yawning chasm. Ch er, chasm, 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 whatever. Water, yes, it seems like a good chance. Yes, see if Eden can take us there uh, where we need to go. And I shall prepare for the summoning. Sacred, would wouldst thou keep watch over the egg? And uh, why can't I like speak today? I don't, I don't know, because I woke up way too early. Yeah, probably. Uh, wouldst thou keep watch over our enigmatic antagonist? She may have the vital information to impart. In the event that she becometh agitated, thou may mayest have need to restrain her. Someone's gotta do it, I suppose. I'll be praying for your success while I wait here, twiddling my thumbs. Still, I must say, I don't envy you being caught up in yet another one of Uryanjay's madcap schemes. Though, come to think of it, if the creature you must fight is born from your own memories and imagination, why don't you just try thinking of something a bit tamer than the primals you found? Vast maybe or perhaps that's not how it works. Anyways, best of luck. Oh, a friend's here. Eden seems to be responding well to my instructions, so we should reach our destination in no time at all. Alright, this is the place. I'll see if I can draw out the water aspected ether. This is the place I'll see if I can draw out the water as with the ether. The rest is up to you, Alela. Memories of Leviathan came flooding back.
We're just really they we're just fighting Leviathan again. It's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be Leviathan, but a completely different fight. Like I can't imagine it'd be exactly the same. Uh, here, what are they playing as? Dancer? Yeah, you know I'll help them out because uh, if it, it well if they're on the same one that is. So be our be right back. Because their plan is a DPS, I could help their Q times significantly. But if I have to do the first first ones again. Wow, their gear is garbage. I said they'll be right back, but well, the church is like moving and they're looking at me. I don't know why this got re-enabled, that was weird. I'll wait like a couple minutes for them if they don't come back.
Oh. Okay, they got in pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I was considering like just being like, oh, you know, I'll do that one again to help you type of thing because they were playing as a DPS, so I was like, oh, their key times are probably awful, but they, they got in like 30 seconds. Okay. So, I mean, whatever. So I don't feel that bad about it. This looks really cool. In you in inundation. It's uh not quite the same as the original. Double headed Leviathan, yeah. Whoa, uh, Monka S. Thanks, Rain.
Okay, so those aren't meteor. I think people want to think that they need to do meteor or something. Rain again. I need him. Backpack isn't that strong. Or not. It's, I bet it's pretty crazy on uh, the savage ones. It's going to be in me.
Oh my god. Uh, the robot can just stand in the air. Bob, do something. <laughs> uh, oh, good god, run, 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 run. Okay. Like, wait, what? What? Oh. I don't know why the uh, other tank didn't take aggro when I died, but okay. It's like tanks don't have uh, provoke on their bars these days. That was incredible. It, is that what a primal looks like? Oh, not quite the same then, but why is that? The Leviathan of the Source was summoned uh, by the Sahagin, to whom uh, he was no less than a god. Uh, without their faith, the deform entity that we brought into existence differed on a, fun a fundamental level, though it was no less formidable. The manifestation relied upon uh, Elela's experience with of Leviathan. And may have influ been fl influenced by recollection of other water aspected beings, leading to further discrepancies. Memories brought to life. But it's st I still can't tell if your plan actually worked. Let's just have- I uh, will just have to wait and see, I guess. How goes it? If you finish slaying the, your primal or whatever it is, I suggest you get here on the double. There's something you ought to see. <sighs> um, what could that be? Finally, our only recourse is to return to our base of operations forthwith. Lala, look.
by the Twelve's good grace. Tis a marvel but to behold. Never thought that a whole lake would suddenly appear like this. And we're just getting started. I, started. I only hope the burning is not too much for you, Alala. Hell yeah, dude. Super seismic. Oh, is it Titan time? Reen and Urian J are considering the next step to the plan uh um in the plan to proclaim the empty. I think it this proves that the water expected aether is no longer lying dormant. So which element should we rely on next, Urian J? I propose Earth. Should we succeed in returning the soil's life giving energy, the empty hall should be uh em the empty shall become capable of supporting the growth of flora. Imagine that, forests in the empty. But before we begin, I'd like to know how the girl is that girl is doing. She's still sound asleep. She didn't so much even as stir even when I took her helmet off. I thought it might be a, uh, getting a bit stuffy in there, and I was curious to know what sort of person we we're dealing with. She seems surprisingly normal, not at all like your usually you, your usual voice. And I'd say she's around the same age as you, Reen, perhaps a little older. Well. Where she is, we should let her rest while we concentrate on the task at hand. As much as I'd love to go uh, with you, I'd best stay here in case she wakes up and is feeling less than cooperative. Uh, and while I wait here, wishing I had something to read, uh, my thoughts will be with you as you fly to off to face the next opponent. Um, it must be a strange feeling to bring something into existence through your own willpower. Only to slay immediately after. I almost feel sorry for the poor things. And all the same, I wish you luck. If all goes well, he won't be waiting for long. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner we can see the results. Now, before we embark on our journey, there is one question I feel I should ask. Where are we going? I would suggest a certain region that lieth uh, east of Norvrant, which was once home to the great Mount Atlas. And for the Earth aspect of Primal we wish to invoke, what could be a more fitting choice than Titan? I don't think I've ever heard of that one. What's it like? I think I mentioned those. They're your words equivalent of the Mord, yes? Uh, but if our last battle is anything to go by, this one would be different from the Titan that Alila remembers, yes? Aye, it would be wise to consider the two as entirely separate beings. As such, thou must needs conceive new stratagems if thou art to triumph in the battle to come. Past experience will avail thee not, I fear. All right, Ilala. Once you're ready, we'll be on our way, dude. Like a a reimagination of Titan. This might be insane. It took a while, but we're f we're f we've finally arrived. This might be like crazy. Ready, Ilala? Memories of Titan come tumbling back. Eden's Gate. Uh, Sepil- uh, Sepilcher? Sepilcher? Rotorism? 
Okay. Oh, oops. Oh, music. Uh, what? Nani? Oh, no. It's Titan cross with like Alexander. Oh my god. It's a banger. Oh, I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I realized it was too late before... I don't know. I realized what I was supposed to do, but it was too late. I gotta wait. No, I'm standing in one place. What? He's a car now?
Oh god. Wait, what? I thought the AoEs I saw were from those explosions, but I guess they were separate. So I thought I was safe where I was standing, because there wasn't <laughs> There wasn't an AoE marker there, but I think I was fine where I was, by the way. But someone pulled me, and then I died.
really the next step. So, crumbling down, what's this? Oops. Ian's gate complete. Uh. Mm, pog. Yeah, so... Today, only the first four of Eden. Um.
are available. Well, I'm gonna do something. must be exhausted. For the creature made of rock, he was a lot more agile than I was expecting. I wonder, was the Titan of your world a tough opponent too? So all it would have taken is a momentary lapse of concentration? I don't like the sound of that. But more importantly, you defeated another elemental being, which means we're a step closer to reclaiming the empty. Can't wait to see how much of a difference we've made this time. Did we really do all of this? Aye, it would appear that balance has returned to the elements of Earth, and yet... The transformation hath affected only the immediate vicinity, whereas the lands beyond this lake doth remain unchanged, tis passing strange indeed. Did we do something wrong? <sighs> Thou, though this falls short of the outcome I had envisioned, to explain our efforts were not in vain. Mayhap this localized phenomenon is a result of an intersection of ethereal currents. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume that similar locations in the empty have undergone comparable alterations. Then the ether will spread out from the, these points and cover the rest of. Green. Green appears to have been overcome by exhaustion. Wait, there's more. I mean, I guess maybe it's just a quest story-wise to bridge to the next one. I don't. It, it's it's nothing. That didn't look like nothing to me. You better lie down for a while. No, really, I'm fine. Anyway, we've still got work to do. Nay, Thurgood hath the right of it, would be unwise to exert thyself over much. Appreciate your concern, but I wish you'd stop fussing. Reen, thou knowest not the strain thou dost uh, place on thyself. Though uh, the elements of water and earth hath been restored, uh, continued exposure to the empty segment, Aether may yet stop thee of thy remaining uh, strength. 
Not that you mentioned, I've been feeling a bit out of stories ever since we got here. I should probably get away from the empty and rest for a while. Pray do so. Meanwhile, I should remain here. The restoration of the first two elements have reduced unexpected result and require time to analyzing our findings. However, I must ask thee to refrain from discussing our work in the empty, even with the, our closest comrades. Why? I thought they'd welcome the news. And indeed they shall, once we have more to show for our efforts. Nevertheless, this mission is one of surpassing nature. I'm loath to place our dearest friends at risk unless absolutely necessary. You have their best interests at heart, I'm sure, but to be perfectly honest, I'd not keep uh, two secrets from people I trust in my life. I don't want to make a habit of this, but I'll do ask you ask. Ariane J is always like this, dude. Keeps secrets, hides things. I don't know. He's never um, done us wrong, to per se. But. Like, I don't know, man. I don't really like the way he does things, to be honest. It seems to me that Rin isn't the only one who would benefit from a change of scenery. Our sleeping beauty here uh, would likely fare better in the more hospital surroundings. We'll need to have our associate from the Crystal organize a safe place for her to stay. If you and Alila could go on ahead and have word with him and Mord Silk, we'll catch up with you. Once Urianji has finished whatever it is he needs to do. Perhaps thou too shouldst accompany her on the return journey. I dare say she would be glad of thy presence. No, not this time. She's come a long way since we formed her, and worry that relying on me too much will only hold her back. We won't be staring, or staying on the first forever. Then we'll come for Reen and I uh, to part ways, and for her to follow her own path. I know you understand this too, Urian J. I see you trying to pass on as much knowledge as possible while you still can, and to her credit, she's actually trying, or taking most of it in. Reen is possessed of natural affinity for etherology, unlike someone, some who shall remain unnamed. Natural affinity for staying awake during your lectures, more like, though, come to think of it, she doesn't really take after me at all. However, like the, she is predisposed to brooding in silence in lieu of voicing her concerns. Says the master of keeping his cards close to his chest. Anyways, Alela, you'd better take the Sky Slipper with Reen. It's true that she's been through a lot lately, but so have you. You'll, uh, we'll need you ready for the challenges that lie ahead. So go on and get some rest. We shall await news of thy safe arrival in Amarang. Seems like uh, you were having quite a serious discussion. I hope I'm going to give you any cause for concern. Well, if you say so, I probably shouldn't stay in the empty any longer than necessary, though. So, do you want to take the first shift piloting, or shall I? Phew, I'm glad I had you there to keep me company. I have no idea how I would have passed the time otherwise. Now that we're here, I need to find our contact from the Crystarium. Before that, I was hoping I could have a word of you. Something's been on my mind. This might not be the best play for it, though. Those creatures over there look a bit hungry.
When I first spoke to Thancred and Uryanje about what I had sensed in the empty, part of me wished we could have just left it alone. I guess I was scared of what we'd find. But now that we've found Eden, I know that I've made the right choice. And if I'd given him into my fear, I probably would have spent the rest of my life wondering what might have been. From now on, whenever I hear that voice inside tell me to run away, to hide, I won't listen. That's not who I am anymore. Even so, all the courage in the world is not going to help me decide what we should do with that girl when she wakes up. Do you remember what she said right before she passed out? Why am I here? What is happening? What if she's being controlled or forced to act against her will? Whatever the case, it's clear that she's not a monster. She is a person, like you or me. Obviously, she knows something about Eden, and we need all the information we can get. But more than that, I just want to talk to her, to find out who she is and if there's anything we can do to help her. On the other hand, we mustn't forget that she's already attacked us once. What's to say she won't try it again when she wakes up? If she keeps us from reclaiming the empty, it will be at my f uh, all my fault. It's no good. I can't make up my mind. What do you think we should do, Alala? Uh, if Alpha Noah were here, he'd talk things through with her. Even if Emmett Selk had his reasons, we should at least hear her out. I like this. I like this answer. Even if, even Emmett Selk had his reasons, we should at least hear her out. I see what you mean. Perhaps if we had been able to come to an understanding, things wouldn't have ended the way they did. I hope that she is nothing like Emmett Selk, but we won't know until we speak to her. Until then, I'll try to concentrate on the here and now. Speaking of which, I still need to see Urianjay's see to Urianjay's errands. errands. Uh, the person we're on our way to meet lent us the sky slipper and most of the apparatus we've been using. Uh, and since we've uh, been sworn to secrecy, I assume the same applies to him and his colleagues. Anyway, once that's over with, we can find a place to relax. Now that we're here, allow me to introduce you to two members of our inner circle, or whatever you want to call it. That's Ghoul Ghoul, who's interested in training for any relics that we find in the empty. Apparently, he mostly deals in exotic weapons and whatnot, but he's agreed to keep us supplied with whatever else we can get from the Crystarium. Now, the one we came to meet should be around here somewhere. Ah, Reen, what a relief it is to see you return unharmed from your expedition. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. We were gone a bit longer than we expected. Lela, I'd like you to meet Luri. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. As representative of the Sen Settlement Council, I'm here to oversee the delivery of equipment deemed necessary to your to your mission. I will be on hand to provide any assistance you may require. Actually, there's something we'd like you to take care of. Uh, it's probably best not to talk about it in the middle of the market, though. I'll take it from here, Lila. You should get some rest. Before you go, I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. We still have a long road ahead of us, but if we give it our all, there's nothing we can't handle.
I see. Though it's mere uh, suppose supposition would be it would behoove us to proceed with caution. Moreover, I would refrain from discussing the matter with Reen and Alila until we know more. Well, I appreciate you telling me, even if it's too soon to be sure, I'm the one watching over her after all. <laughs> the Oracle of Darkness. Huh. I pray it is not true. This is about Eden Relic Exchange. Where 50? Wait, is it even better than. Isn't my other stuff 450? In comparison, 450. Yeah, it's the same. So do I even want these? You know, like lightweight tombstone. So, so these items. Um. So how? So like these are items you get from completing the raids and. You'll get one of the trade items per each one you complete. Uh, but you can only get one item a week per clear per each. So there's four raids, right? You can only get one of them. Uh, one item from each raid per week. So, um, And all of these require multiple. So the actual body gear is better than what I have, but... Um... But I'll, I have... All my accessories are 450 and it's the same stats, so... Um, for... But I can get, like... Um... Here, let me look at something real quick. Well, let me look at the other stuff first. It's Disciple of War 2. Okay, these are ranged stuff. Alright. Um, and then, oh, but as a, yeah, I have to go into here. Okay. Um, what I was gonna say is I could, I could get something for, like, White Mage, though. I'm just gonna look at what I have, which is the lowest. Get, like, a ring. Necklace. I'll get, like... Oh, I have two anyways. So I can get the uh, get two things. I'll get the I'll ring a necklace. Um, 
So yeah. It's funny enough, those are in my norm like they added those to the normal raids uh roulette now. So they're just in there right away. So yeah, I can't really do much else with this. I just, I can't get this stuff. There's just literally nothing I can do about it. So, like, it's funny to think this gear here is actually completely unattainable. When you really think about it. Like, r currently, right now, all of this body gear, it's 100% unobtainable. I'm pretty sure, right now. What's it look like? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, um, hmm. wait, there's, is this the same? What do you do with these lightweight tombstones?
Alright, well... Honestly... I'm probably just gonna... Call it a stream, you know, I, I did the- I did the raids. I'll- I'll probably get on it again later... Today. This was just a, uh... You know, get up and, and do the new content real quick... Type thing, right? For me, at least. Uh... I'm probably gonna lie down... And watch... Some other Twitch streamers or something. Or maybe some anime. And probably fall asleep again. And I'll probably get on later in the day. Maybe, maybe play some more Donkey Kong or something. All right. Have a good day, everyone.